What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Doing a video today, hope you guys are doing good. Make sure you guys get an adult beverage, whatever you're drinking, coffee, a red beer, whatever, recovering from your hangover. And you're here to enjoy some good fish, reef related coral video. And you gotta admit, this drink right here looks pretty good. It's an all-in-one drink with your shrimp, beef jerky, celery, clams, and everything. And of course, a little bit of brewski. So let's get into the video. This update is on my 150 gallon reef tank. And uh, basically what I did is I rescaped it because I just wasn't happy with the way that it was looking. Um, I was never really happy with the rockscape and I am uh, a little bit happy with this one, the way it turned out. So what's new with this tank is I've been taking out most of the zoanthids pallies out of this tank uh, as you know I'm a zoa guy but um, I kind of rescaping it so that way I can uh, attach and start collecting SPS in this 150 and that way everything will look cool because I'm gonna have more room more um, rockscape structure to attach SPS and let those be my uh, my scape a lot of people go all out on the rockscape which is really cool but once you get that structure of how you want to get that rockscape, then the corals is what makes it look pretty awesome. And uh, let me tell you, on this tank, uh, all that white rock that you see is, is dry rock, but it's only white because it's been sitting in my sump all this time. I had all that rock, but it's been sitting in my sump, and that's why it looks like it's brand new. So let's talk about my lighting. Now, my lighting as you see is you know an LED it's the reef breeder photon version 2 a 50 inch along supplemented with two T5 bulbs the T5 bulbs that I have are ATI Coral Plus and ATI Blue Plus but the problem that I'm having is that I'm not getting the full coverage of this lighting system uh, my tank is the lights are not centered so as you can see you can't really tell unless you really pay attention but it's covering more of the back of the tank if that makes sense so i did order an aquatic life t5 fixture i ordered the uh, 61 inch uh, my tank is 60 inches but i ordered the 61 inch for my uh, setup which is going to be four bulbs and then the led right down the center I ended up going with two ATI Blue Plus and two ATI Coral Plus. I like the way that it looks and I can't wait to show you guys because uh, this frog spawn is really gonna open up. It's gonna be covered. Um, it's gonna be getting lots of light. My SPS are gonna be color covered up wherever um, they are on the uh, side of the tank, front of the tank, wherever. Everything's gonna be getting lit. Zoas are gonna be doing good. And uh, I just can't wait for that fixture to be coming in. Um, I took advantage of the Memorial Day sale and I got 10% off of that light. So that was even better for me. It's going to be the older version. The newer version is going to be single plug. It's going to have all these cool uh, upgraded features. But it wasn't going to fit my Reef Breeders light down the middle. Um, I con contacted Aquatic Life and I was asking him about it. Uh, he So he told me that straight up. So I went ahead and got the current setup. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rockscape. As you can see, I used a lot of Aquamax uh, reef welder to hold up the hammers and the frog spawn. It did a great job. I actually took some video about on that, but uh, I'll explain why I'm not actually showing this. I like the way that this rockscape came out um, because it's kind of, you know, I've done the two island look. I've done the rock wall look when I first started into reefing. And uh, I like this way that this looks. Um, it's more open. The rocks are like a horseshoe. Um, it's like an open island lagoon type of uh, look. I cleaned up a lot of this, I think, by making it open. I kind of readjusted the aquascape because uh, I got an addition of a copper band butterfly. My purple tang was kind of being a bully, uh, as you would expect. And so I changed up the rockscape a little bit and as you can see I also got some rock and I aquamaxed 
welded it, refolded it, and then I glued this SPS with super glue onto the overflow. Um, I think that you should be making the most out of your space uh, in your reef tank, be creative, and I kind of try to do that with this setup right here. I didn't want to pit the uh, SPS too close together. I want them to grow out and cover this live rock because I think that's what makes a reef tank when your corals start off from little frags and then they start turning into colonies like this. Because if you go and you try to buy, you know, a colony, a frag, you know, it's one price. But if you try to go and buy a colony, it just costs way too much money. And for me, it's more rewarding when you buy a little frag, you start off with a little frag, and then it starts encrusting on the walls and the on the frag plug uh, and it just becomes part of your reef now i do want to show you this pink bird's nest okay it's nice and pink on top but you go down on the bottom and it's starting to turn uh dead because uh, their light is not coming through it's so dense and uh, my wife thought that my bird's nest was dying and i explained to her it's it's still alive but only on the part that's reaching the light so to fix it i told her i ordered that aquatic life uh set and uh there should be no more uh shadowing as much shadowing anymore and she quickly asked looked at me said oh really and how much was that and i just said uh, no comment i did let her know however i got a 10 percent off sale and uh that's pretty awesome now taking a look at these yellow pallies they are a pain in the ass they're worse than the gold pallies never get yourself gold never get yourself the yellow uh, pallies because they just grow like crazy as you can see you tap it and they are filling in taking over these uh, zoa plug that i got so i'm going to cut this up and start splitting this and then all the yellow pallies i'm just going to go ahead and get them and uh, chuck them out of my system because uh, they're quickly taking over, becoming a nuisance, and uh, I really don't like that. Now, my green slimer right here, as you can see, it's it's freaking covered in the uh, Mohano anemones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that F Aptasia, and I'm going to nuke this uh, rock. I'm going to cover up all the Aptasia, and in the last video you saw how well it worked. But if not, click on the uh, link above, and you can watch that whole video in detail how it works and everything it's great stuff and that rock right there is about to get uh taken care of um i thought about taking off the green slimer but i just like how the green slimer encrusted on that rock so with that f aptasia stuff i'm gonna go ahead and uh, handle business here in a little bit speaking of rewarding i got this little mushroom not mushroom but a uh, little leather right here started off tiny and uh it's taking over it's really big and uh it's funny because the rats will sit on top of it and just lay on top of that leather right there um some of the other fish will sit on top of it like it's their couch or something and uh it's doing good um but i noticed that the uh, leather was touching my uh, red monopora and the spot that my uh, red monopora was being touched by kind of bleached out as you can see right there it's weird I don't know if that was the anemone, but I'm thinking it was the leather. So after this video, I already moved it and uh, I'm going to safeguard my monopora because that money was doing really good. Now, those of you who are still hanging out with me in this video, because uh, it is kind of a long video, I got a little bit of surprise for you guys, but you got to stay tuned and stick around. But as you can see, the uh, red digi right there is kind of getting bleached by that uh those rose bubble tip and enemies they're touching too much and stinging it but you know what it's okay um i got a lot i got a whole rack of that red monopore from accidentally fragging uh, you start moving rocks around and you're gonna start breaking coral the copper band uh great fish i bought it for my aptasia problem and uh, i really like that it's an active swimmer it's a good swimmer wasn't too expensive and you know it would be a great addition to your reef tank i haven't seen him eat yet uh, i've been doing uh, mices uh, brine shrimp rods food um, you know all kinds of stuff uh, but i haven't seen him eat yet but he is an active swimmer and i really like him in the reef tank so now time for the little bit of interesting update that i have for you um, and i just keep it real with you guys there's no 
reason for me to hide and pretend like my refit tank is perfect. But um, I just want to pass the message along to you that you should take care of your products and not be like me. Uh, because if you are like me, you're going to make accidents, you're going to make mistakes, and it's going to cost you uh, some money. So what I did, I was aquascaping. I was trying to do a top-down shot. I had video on this cell phone. This was my Apple iPhone 7. And uh, it's not waterproof. Uh, salt water will quickly get to it, destroy it. And uh, it really sucks losing this phone. Uh, my current phone setup right now is a Note. So it does suck losing my iPhone. So if you have one, you want to send it to me, look it up. Now, another thing that happened, um, my clownfish is trying to do CPR on the copper band butterfly, but this anemone grabbed a hold of it. Uh, I was coming home doing a roll call, looking at the tank after being gone all day. And I noticed that my copper band butterfly was uh, fell victim to the anemone. The anemone looked like uh, it's trying to eat it. I don't know if I should take it out, leave it in there, um, because if I just leave it alone, the anemone is just gonna end up spitting it back out and bones all over the place. It's gonna take quite a lot of energy to eat this copper band butterfly. But like I said, uh, really sucks losing the copper band. Uh, I will be adding another one to the reef tank because I like their personality. They're great fish and it just sucks that uh, you know he got stung by an enemy. I wasn't able to see it. Maybe I could have saved it or something. And uh, the anemone has gotten a hold of this guy. I am going to go ahead and pull it out of the anemone. Um, and go from there. Just sucks man. Uh, first I lose my iPhone. And then I uh, come home and then my uh, copper band butterfly is uh, being a, a, a meal to my an enemy. But let me know what you guys would do um, after watching this video again. I think I'm going to go ahead and drink another red beer or something like that. Really sucks, but hey, that's the way it goes in reefing. And uh, in my videos, I show you what's up, what I did, what's going on. You know, I showed you the cyano issues that I had. You know, the tank was looking like crap. I showed you the Aptasia, which I still have, and how I fixed it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, nuke this tank with some of that uh, F Aptasia chemical and just get this tank uh, looking good. You know, that's the way it is in the reef hobby. You know, you get hit with something, systematically approach it, uh, figure it out, and uh, attack it. Then you go on to the next issue and go from there. But can't wait for my light to come in uh, and uh, fix all the shadowing and shading that I got going on in the reef tank. Well, guys, that's the cost of reefing. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video, my friends.